Hello guys, in this video you will learn packet injection, testing the TCP security of a network with a special focus on the AMQP protocol for IoT devices and microservices penetration testing. So basically we are injecting crafted packets into the TCP stream and then we observe the network behavior through Wireshark and then uh, analyzing the log files. As prerequisites, we are going to need two IoT devices, which we will simulate with Python scripts. The first one will be uh, the publisher script, which uh, serves as a sensor to collect um, data. The second one will be the subscriber script. So basically, this subscriber script will subscribe to the AMQP queue and then consume the messages that have been published by the publisher scripts. That is the sensor IoT. And then um, we are going to need a message broker. We are going to use RabbitMQ as the message broker in this exercise. The links are provided in the description below. In this step, we will install RabbitMQ, set up our IoT devices, uh, create our crafted TCP packets, and then install Python libraries that will be needed for our demonstration to run properly. First of all, you want to go to this address. Again, the link is in the description below. So you are going to look for the installation guide on how to install on Debian and Ubuntu because basically I'm running this on Kali. You are going to scroll down and all you need to do is copy this code. So copy all of it and then just open any text editor and paste in and then save. That's all you need to do. Later, we'll, we'll run this in the terminal to install RabbitMQ server for us. This is going to be the message broker where the publisher scripts will publish messages to, and then the subscriber will subscribe and then consume the messages. All right. Uh, up next, we want to set up the publisher and subscriber scripts. These are basically the IoT devices. So here we have the baseline publisher.py. We have the baseline subscriber.py. Uh, we also have the crafted packets.py. I'll come to this later. But what we need to do now is to download this. Uh, Download a zip or however, you can just open and copy the codes and save them. All you need to do is to have them ready in your working environment. Download the baseline publisher.py, download the baseline subscriber.py, and then download the crafted package.py. I'll see come to this later. Up next, as you can see, I have uh, three tabs open, three windows, I would say. So um, navigate to where you save the, the installation scripts for, for RabbitMQ, and all you need to do is just run it. For example, I have mine saved as uh, Rabbit, so I'm going to just run as, um, an, as admin, Rabbit install.sh. Just run this and then it will install RabbitMQ on your machine. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run this. So go ahead and run it. And then when you are done, you, you need to have your publisher scripts and the subscriber scripts in place. Now, after installing your RabbitMQ, you want to start the service. You can do that by running the command as shown uh, on the screen. So you're going to type sudo 
system CTL, they want to start RabbitMQ server like this. Hit enter, enter your password, and then the, the RabbitMQ server is started. If you don't get any error messages, that means you are on the right track. All right, I'm going to clear my screen. Now, make sure you have the publisher scripts and the subscriber script that you downloaded. This is what I mean. So we have the baseline publisher.py, baseline subscriber.py. Make sure you have them ready and then you have uh, permission to execute them. One more step before we, be, we enter into active packet injection, we need some Python libraries to, to ensure that the scripts run properly. I'm talking about the publisher script, the subscriber script, and then the crafted packet script. So one file we need is picker. So we're going to install it using sudo apt get install python3 picker. So go ahead, run this code, this command. It should install the picker library for you. Also, you're going to need this copy library. Go ahead and install it as shown on the screen. When you are done, then we we'll continue. We are going to start the IoT devices. First of all, to establish, establish uh, the baseline performance of the packets, how will they behave? So to do that, we are going to run each of the scripts in different uh, terminals. So in this terminal, I'm going to run sudo python3. Then I'm going to run the baseline publisher.py script and make sure your RabbitMQ server is running as uh, shown before now. So go ahead and click enter. You see that messages have been published already. Now, in the other terminal, I'm going to run the same script, but this time around I'm running the subscriber.py script. So I'm going to type sudo Python tree, baseline subscriber.py. Enter your password. As you can see, the messages being published by the publisher script, that is the IoT sensor, is being consumed by the uh, subscriber script or our actuator in this case. Now, in order to establish a baseline um, metric for our comparison. We are going to use Wireshark to capture these packets and analyze them, see how they behave under normal condition without packet injection. So go ahead and open Wireshark. In this case, uh, we are running on the local host. That is a loop, loop back. So I'm going to hit enter here. And as you can see, packets are already coming. So now you can decide to filter out um, just AMQP since that's what we are mainly focusing on. Or you can decide to just leave it at, as it is. But then when you click on one, for example, this, and then you show packet in new window, you see the payload as the displayed here. You also see from the transmission control protocol, you see the source port, which is 34. 542 and then the destination port of 5672. This is basically the AMQP port by default. Okay. And then to see the messages being published, as you can see from the terminals here, we can also 
follow the TCP stream. Let's enlarge this, okay. So now you can see we have sensor ID here. We have sensor one, and then it's publishing readings from the IoT device. In this case, temperature of 28.225 and so on. We also have humidity and we have the timestamp. So we have a whole lot of them being published. Okay, so we have established our baseline metric here. This is running under normal condition. No packet in, has been injected yet. So I'm going to stop this and then minimize this for now. Next, we are going to need the crafted packets.py file that we downloaded alongside the publisher and subscriber script. Quickly take a look at it to see what's inside. Okay the file i need to copy the file to this folder so i'm going to do that using cp metrics crafted packets i'm going to copy it into the current folder so when i list again we can see it the crafted packets all right let's take a look at the content So we can see this copy we inst uh, installed. We are importing it here. And then we're also importing time. So basically it's uh, defining the targets. This is where you insert the IP address of the, the targets or the target TCP uh, address where you want to simulate the packet injection. And then we are choosing the port of 5672 because we are targeting the AMQP port. All right. So now we create the custom packet, a custom TCP packet. So the IP packet created as follows. And then this is where we craft the payloads. First of all, we craft um, a payload that is not very nice. Then we crafted uh, another payload that conforms with EMQP structure, but then it's not on it's an unauthorized message. Then we we send the two packets, packet one and packet two. Packet one is the uh, payload that is unauthorized and does not conform with EMQP structure. Packet two conforms with the structure, but then is unauthorized. Then we start a while loop. We send the first packet, send the second packet, and then wait for 0 0.1 second. All right, so this is the content of the crafted uh, packets.py. Go ahead and close this. Clear my screen once more. Remember, your RabbitMQ is running, your two Python files, the baseline publisher.py and then baseline subscriber.py are all running. Then the final step is to run the crafted packets.py. So I'm going to do that with sudo Python 3, sorry. Then I'm going to run crafted packets.py. Now, before uh, I do this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's let's go ahead and run this. Then we open the Wireshark and then demonstrate. All right. So go ahead, hit enter. Impute your password. All right. Now we are sending packets. So now in order to validate that this is working, I'm going to start a new capture of the packets continue without saving oh you can see we are already getting injected packets as uh, displayed by the red lines we can see here so after capturing for some time you can decide to pause or you stop the, the capture i'm going to stop this so now we are going to inspect the injected packets 
So you can click on this, then follow TCP stream. And as you can see here, we have the payload of the packet we created earlier. As you can see here, the unauthorized message. All right, this is just one packet. Then let's see if we have the malicious one anywhere. So let's check this one. Follow TCP stream. Okay, so here we have it. So guys, this is how you can simulate packet injection for educational purposes only. Disclaimer here. Please, whenever you run this, make sure you run it in a controlled environment. All right. Please, if you stayed till this moment, please consider subscribing, liking the video, share and drop your comments. Let me know your thoughts and then I'll see you in the next video.